everyone, so today I wanted to show you a kind of golden, bronzy, really pretty summer smoky eye. And I love a good smoky eye, I don't just think they're for autumn and winter and parties, I think you can rock them all year round. And there's a product in particular that I've been using for the last couple of months that I'm just in love with, obsessed with, and I think it makes for such a nice summer smoky eye look. So I've already done my base, so I've kept it quite light and fresh and glowy and kind of minimal on the cheeks, so not too much blush, not too much bronzer, just to kind of make the smoky eye the main focus. So I've used the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation and I've actually mixed it in with a little bit of the BB cream and this is their bronzing BB cream so it's very dark almost a kind of liquid bronzer but I find a little bit mixed in with the healthy mix just gives it a really nice warm golden glow and just gives you a little bit more colour and a bit more warmth in your skin. So I used a new powder to set that all down one that I've been testing out and that I really do like and it's the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Powder. This stuff I won't open it because it will spill everywhere is a super super finely milled HD powder it's translucent it's completely clear but it kind of sets the makeup down in a way that it's not going to get oily it's not going to go anywhere but it still gives your skin some glow and luminosity and it lets the kind of dewy finish of the healthy mix shine through so to add just a little bit more color into my cheeks and my face i use this really pretty palette from tarte this is a kind of mixture of bronzy colors and there's some pinks in there as well and these are all their amazonian clay blush formulas so they're really well pigmented they go on really nicely so i just swirled my brush around the bronzier shades on the outside to give a little bit of contour nothing too extreme just very minimal and to add some more glow and warmth around the outsides of my face and then I use the middle shades here the pinks just to give a pop of color on my cheeks so I wanted my skin to be very luminous and very glowy so I used this highlighter from Topshop which has become one of my favorite products recently this is in the shade horizon and it's such a pretty warm bronzy color and it gives a really nice glow it's not goldy it's not champagne it just has this nice bronzy sheen so it gives the cheekbones just this lovely summery glow and I really love this it's not sparkly, it's not glittery, it just gives a nice radiance. So those are all the products that I used for my base, so onto the fun part and the smoky eye. And the product that I am really excited about using is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Shadow in the shade Betty Davis. This is so beautiful, it's a very golden, very bronzy tone cream shadow, but the formulas of these are really lovely, they just glide across the eye, they set down really well, but they're so easy to work with and to blend. So I'm going to use this as my base and my starting colour, and I'm just going to take it all across the lid. So I'm going to start by using my fingers and just sort of messily blend it onto there and these are just so beautifully pigmented and then I'm going to blend that out with a fluffy blending brush and sometimes I do find it hard to blend out cream shadows with brushes but these they just glide so easily and I'm going to take it quite far up the brow bone because I want it to be really smoky and I'm just going to keep building on the colour and then repeat that on the other side And I'm also going to pop that on a little pencil brush and take it underneath my eye as well. And I'm going to take it a little bit further down the eye than I usually would, just to give the really all-round smoky effect. Now these shadows are really beautiful just worn on their own, so you could go straight on with mascara and just leave it at that, but I am going to add in a few more products just to keep things even smokier. So I'm going to use the MAC eyeshadow in cork just to give my crease a little bit of definition and kind of smoke out the outer corners of the eye. And I'm going to use a kind of tapered crease brush for this because I find that kind of gives you a little bit more precision when you're blending colours into the crease. Another product that I really love to use when I'm doing a smoky eye is a kind of creamy eyeshadow stick. So I have two here that I'm going to use together. The first one is the Bourjois Colour Band Eyeshadow in Brown. This is a really pretty, quite bronzy colour, quite similar to the Charlotte Tilbury shadow actually, but a little bit warmer and a bit darker. And then I also have the Stila Smudge Stick Eyeliner in Lionfish, which is a really dark, really intense brown. So I'm going to use that right into the roots of my lashes to really define them and make them look a little bit thicker. I really like using this pencil in place of a liquid liner or something really dark and black because I find you get the definition with this, but it's a lot softer and more subtle. So I'm going to start with the Bourjois pencil and kind of really messily smudge that into my lashes. And I'm using quite a thick line of this as well. And then I'm going to blend that out and really soften it so it doesn't look like there's a line there at all. I'm also going to take that under my lashes as well. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the Stila pencil, but just keep it right into the roots of my lashes. And 
And the last thing I'm going to do before mascara is just add a little bit of the By Terry Ombre Black Star in Blonde Opal. This is a really, really pretty, very bright and gold colour, so I think it works really nicely in the tear ducts. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the corner of my eye there. And it just really opens everything up and it doesn't look too heavy and too dark. Okay, I've curled my lashes and then on to mascara. And I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. The name I'm not sure about, but this is a really great volumizing one. Really, really thickens up your lashes and it also defines them quite nicely too. So I'm going to put a lot of this on. And I really can't resist just loading up with mascara when I'm doing a smoky eye. I just think it finishes everything off perfectly. So I'm going to keep the rest of the makeup really simple and go for a nude lip option and I'm going to use a combination of two products. I've been really into using these together recently and they are the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in Miss Kensington and then the NYX Butter Lipstick in Snowcap and I find these two are actually very similar colours but the formulas work really nicely together. The Charlotte Tilbury lipstick is a little bit more on the matte side whereas the NYX one is creamier and more moisturising and just gives a bit more sheen to the lips so both of them together I think are a really pretty natural nude lip option. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury one first. I think this one is going to be really great for fairer skins. I find it quite hard to get a nude lipstick that isn't too dark for me, whereas this just works really perfectly. So definitely an option if you have fairer skin. And then I'm going to use the NYX one on top just to give it a more glossy kind of hydrating sheen, which really ties in with the rest of the skin. So that is my finished summer smoky eye makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching that. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe if you're new. And if you do decide to recreate this or give it a go, please leave me a little tweet or something, put it on Instagram. I will leave all my social media links down in the description bar so you can tag me in all your lovely photos. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.